and hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, Jonathan, your host, once again bringing you my thoughts and review of Legion Chapter 4. Once again we see David trying to struggle with his whole, what I could call maybe midlife crisis or whatever he's on because this dude cannot figure out what is his power, he can't tap it, he can't turn it off whenever he gets angry, it just basically goes bananas. So, while he's trying to figure all that out, out inside his own mind, the team, or his friends, basically are outside of the of his mind in the real world, trying to figure out what made David's past made him tick, basically. They go through all his old spots, they try to find all his old friends, and try to, like, see, you know, what kind of person was David before he went, you know, bananas, in a way. Then they find some pretty interesting things about certain people in his life that he talks about in his mind that they were men at one point and like his best friend who he thought was a girl but it was actually a guy you know when he used to smoke weed and stuff and do drugs and then you know we find out that David also has maybe multiple personalities in his mind because if you read the comic you know in the comic he actually does you know he has his younger self that can contain, that can control the power by itself. It's its own entity. Same thing with his younger self, his teenage years, and then of course, obviously, David, David, but he doesn't know how to control it. So he's still trying to figure out how to do that. You know, a lot of people are trying to help him out, and you know, he's still not figuring out what to do. He knows he's a mutant, but he's just still struggling with it. I gotta say, this show gets better and better every time I see it because. It's just a different kind of thing. It's not exactly like all the other action movies where, you know, they do the thing, they fight Magneto, and it's over. This, this, movie, this show contains, you know, basically thinking, and you, like, really look at his origin, and you're like, wow, this guy could be very more, more powerful than his own father. And if you know from the comics, his father's Charles Xavier, one of the brilliant minds of all the mutants. So, he's a lot more stronger. And I, I thought this episode was fun. A lot of creepy moments in this episode, too. I mean, you have moments where David, he's inside, he's, um, one of the other guys' mind, he's, like, lives in the ice box, he's trying to be funny, because he's inside of, um, the woman who basically helped him out, his husband's mind, and he's hanging out with him, and he's trying to tell him, oh, yeah, you gotta embrace it, you gotta do all this, there's a lot of things you have to learn, and <laughs> that dude just has a lot of fun in his own, his own mind, so there's that. Did you find out, you know, when he, he was the guy who was in, like, that scuba suit? So, that was fun. Like I said, it's a good show. I, I still watch it. I mean, yeah, sure, it's not for everybody, but, you know, what can you do? It's just a... This is basically... I, I consider this X-Men TV show a, a test. So that way, what, hopefully a lot of people watch it and they get interested so they can do the other X-Men show, like Scott, Gene, and everybody else who knows the X-Men universe. So... There you go. I'm going to watch chapter 5 right now. I'm going to let you guys know about that later on today. So leave a comment below and let me know what you guys thought. And thank you and have a good day.